Oklahoma with a one-point lead. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And they use motion. He throws. And this one's broken up. The ball got knocked down by the cornerback. Wow, that kid was on him like white on rice. Peanut butter on jelly. Like flies on. E easy, Scooter. Take it easy. There are kids out there watching this game. So the one-point lead turns into a seven-point lead with an all-important extra point on the way. You still have a little less than two minutes left on the clock. So even with an eight-point lead, this game isn't over. Yeah, but it's going to be difficult because it's going to take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it up. But we've seen that happen many times before. And there's sufficient amount of time left on the clock. He makes the PAT. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Oklahoma is lining up to kick this one off. He sends it off. And he just got stood up right there. And we got an injured player on the field. start at the 31. First and 10. The defense is in the nickel. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. His coach won't be too happy. He just cost his team 15 yards. They'll work from the shotgun. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got a man in and out of his hands. It's third and long at this stage of this game. They probably have to go to the air. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. He steps out at the 48-yard line, taking back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Steps out of bounds at about the 41. And that was a huge run. Yes, indeed, my friend. What did I tell you guys? This kid makes big plays when they need him. From the 41-yard line, first down. Going with the shotgun here. to the running back and he pulls in another one and they make the stop at the 31 the offense was pretty successful on that play there that was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down there are four wide receivers split out the quarterback in the gun right down right around the 14 yard line I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Option here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. I like what they're doing here. Short completions are the cornerstone of an effective passing game. 
They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Finds a man. Touchdown. And now they're just a two-point conversion away from tying this ball game up. The offense seems to be clicking, Kirk. What do you think they should run here? I think they should run a play action and let the quarterback roll out. If he can find someone in the end zone, then get it to him. And if not, he should just take it. Big, big conversion right here. Time is running out, and they need this one to tie it up. They go with the run, and he's in for two. So here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Florida, ready to kick this one off. He sends it off. He's to the 10. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Coach, Herbie, what's your take right now? This is the rule I've always used, Kirk. If you're inside the opponent's territory at this point of the game, I'd say go for the win. Otherwise, let's go into overtime. Yep. The way you don't want to lose the game is on a mistake, like an interception or a fumble. Exactly. Great job by the offense to keep the chains moving. And I don't care what level of football you play, as a receiver, you have to be able to create separation on an out route, especially against man coverage like this kid just showed him. Found his man to the 10. And they bring him down at the 1. The offense calls a timeout. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. High formation here. And he's tackled at the one yard line. The offense calls a timeout. Second down and goal. Ball on the one yard line. They line up in an eye. He's tackled at the one. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Back to him, and he gets nothing this time around. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. And it splits the uprights. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. If they field the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. For the fair catch. It's now make it or break it time for this offense. They can make up the deficit right here. Looks to pass. Waits till the last moment. going to do it for this one. Our final score, Oklahoma 17, Florida 14.